Tom Andrews here. This is um, MoveCongress.org, and we're sitting and meeting with uh, Congresswoman Barbara Lee. And Congresswoman Lee, um, where is your district? What do you represent? I represent the 9th Congressional District of California, includes er Oakland and Berkeley. Oakland and Berkeley, all right. Why are you so involved uh, in this issue? What is it about this war in Iraq that, that, that moves you, that motivates you to take the leadership position that you've taken? I was opposed to this war uh, against Iraq uh, before it began. Uh, we knew then that there were no weapons of mass destruction, that Iraq posed no imminent threat to our country, and that there was no connection between the horrific events of 9-11, uh, Al-Qaeda, and Saddam Hussein and Iraq. And we knew early on, before this authorization dam, that this was part of the Bush's plan uh, to use uh, preemptive war their policy of doc the doctrine of preemptive war uh, based on their axis of evil. And so this was a terrible, terrible mistake. And actually during that period, uh, I offered uh, an alternative, trying to stop the rush that would uh, say that the United Nations must complete its inspections process in order uh, to make a determination with regard to weapons of mass destruction. Well, I received about 72 votes on that amendment on the floor. And many members tell me now that as they look back, they wish they would have voted for that because that would have stopped uh, this rush to war and saved the lives of over 3,000 of our young brave men and women, countless Iraqi civilians, and uh, the damage that is done and, uh, and the pain and the suffering to many who have been injured is, is uh, hard to even fathom. What's the Progressive Caucus and what is its relationship to the attempt to stop this war? Well, members of the Progressive Caucus uh, from day one, uh, like myself, have been opposed to this war, and we have mounted a variety of, of efforts to try to stop it. Congresswoman Lynn Woolsey actually offered the very first uh, withdrawal resolution a couple of years ago uh, that set the stage for uh, the rest of Congress now to, to hopefully fall in line to call for withdrawal. Uh, Congresswoman Woolsey, Maxine Waters, and myself, we have uh, introduced H.R. 508, which uh, really does uh, set forth a very comprehensive plan on how to get out and what to do and when. The President has said uh, that he wanted his critics to uh, come up with an alternative and ideas if they had any, and we did. And of course, he got us into this mess, and he should be the one to get us out. But since he can't, we want him to know that we know how to do it. So what can Congress do at this juncture? Uh, first, obviously, they could uh, sign on to H.R. 508. But what are the key votes that are coming up? What should people be looking for? And what should they be talking to their members of Congress sure. about? Well, key votes uh, coming up are very uh, important to, to note and to uh, rally around. I believe there will be a vote on this escalation. We're hoping that we have a, a clean resolution that opposes the Bush administration's uh, escalation. Uh, that resolution has not been written, nor have we seen that yet. Secondly, we have uh, a supplemental budget coming up. I hope, and I for one have never uh, supported any of these supplementals, I hope members of Congress oppose the supplemental. $100 billion, and this is climbing. We need to uh, have uh, a policy that says the only money now can be used to protect our troops in a real way and begin to bring them home. And that's what the money, the hundred billion, should be used for. Should we be worried about a U.S. attack on Iran? And if so, what can Congress do to stop it? I am quite worried about an attack uh, against Iran. The same signs are there. The drum beats are very similar that we're hearing uh, when the rush to war against Iraq occurred. Uh, now with Iran. Uh, we're seeing the same thing. It's a very uh, scary situation. And yes, we want uh, to see all weapons of mass destruction, especially nuclear weapons, uh, uh, eliminated. Final question, uh, Barbara. What, what is the most single most important message that people should be delivering to their members of Congress when they call them, talk with them, and visit them during the district work period? The most important message, I believe, that, mem that the public should uh, convey to their members of Congress is that they want their, this war ended that they should support H.R. 508 because that presents a comprehensive plan on how to end this, how to protect our young men and women, and how to move on to try to achieve uh, global peace and stability, especially in, in that very dangerous region of the world.